Hello everybody, Don Conroy here. Well, I wanted to make a very big impression on you today. So I'm going to draw an elephant. <laughs> Can't much, get much bigger than that. You know it's a pink elephant, and you may ask yourself, why a pink elephant? Well, I did a book a long time ago. It was called The Elephant at the Door. Now, again, you may ask, and a lot of people ask, how do artists get, and writers get ideas for books, things like that. Well, anyway, I was having breakfast, and I was sitting beside my daughter, and her name is Sophie. And she was about six, seven at the time. Bit of a little madam, you know what I mean. I'll explain that to you in a second. Anyway, she said over breakfast, um, you should write a book called The Elephant at the Door. I said, The Elephant at the Door? Hmm, that's a very good name for a book. And I said, where did you hear that? She said, I made it up. I said, really? Very good. So uh, what will the book be about? Do you know what she said? I don't know. You're the writer. So I got my own back and I wrote The Elephant at the Door. And guess who the character is? Sophie. <laughs> so, you know, you have to be very careful when you mess around with writers. <laughs> so today I, I thought we'd have a bit of fun and draw the elephant, the pink elephant. So it's a nice jolly old elephant. And I'm sure you all love elephants. They're amazing creatures. The largest land mammal. And there's two types of elephants, as you know. There's the Asian elephant. Some people call it the Indian elephant. And there's the African elephant. The African elephant, by the way, is, is larger. So I'm going to start off by drawing the cartoon eyes. So we draw a curved line like that and then a circle underneath like that and then two black pupils like that. So I, they're kind of droopy, lazy eyes, which I like doing. And another curve over there, two little lines go like that, and a curve up here, and a curve underneath that, like that. So now you have the, the eyes. So it's a big happy elephant. So we'll put a little curve here, and a little curve here. And by the way, the trunk that an elephant has, in the Asian elephant, it has one finger at the end of the trunk. With the African elephant, it has two. And they're amazing creatures, highly intelligent. They can live till they're about 70, sometimes creep a little bit over that and uh, if they're going into very very deep lakes or uh, crossing deep rivers they can actually use their tusk as a snortle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So they're amazing creatures. Many a time uh, I've drawn them in, uh, in Dublin Zoo, the Asian elephant. So there's a curve here and a curve there, and another curve here and a curve there, and another one like that. And then a slightly longer one there. And then this is the end of the tusk, the trunk rather. <laughs> I, I am not putting in any tusks on this one. So elephants live in herds. And it's usually the, the dominant female, known as the cow. And of course, the big old males, they're solitary. 
things are on their own. Uh, so, uh, so the young elephants, the bull elephants, and the young cows, the young calves, they uh, they all hang around together. So they're very devoted to each other, very caring, which is a lovely thing. Now, I just, I just keep stepping back and forwards just to make sure. Got, got that right shape. Now here's another curve here and another curve here. So it's, it's all based on, on curves. And they say that the African elephant's ears are shaped like Africa and the Asian elephant ears are shaped like India. <laughs> but of course with the cartoon I'm just again having fun. So this crazy elephant you can thank my daughter, Sophie, for that. <laughs> now we put a lion down my pouch and a lion. And uh, we'll try and keep it in the, <laughs> on the big page. <laughs> uh, and there. Anyway. So just there you indicate. So I'm going to put a quick bit of colour on that. And lo and behold, I'm going to put uh, some pink. Ooh. So, you know, uh, it's a nice summer's day and then the evening starts creeping in and you look up at the sky and you start seeing lovely shapes in the sky. Well, uh, sometimes you can see elephants, pink elephants. <laughs> And uh, in, in the book, the elephant actually ends up being seen in the sky as a pink elephant. So I did a lot of rather what's called zany books like that. So they were good fun to do. So you might like to write a little story about an elephant or something like that, just to amuse yourself. So I'm just doing this very quickly as it's important that I get this little shape down. But you, as I say many a time, you can take your time doing that. And a little bit in the top here like that. So remember too when you're using brushes, don't forget to clean them afterwards. It's very important. And if you have two little jars of water, you know, you can use one to clean the brushes while you're working and the other to try and keep it as clean as possible so you can put the different shapes. So that's my elephant. And if in case Sophie's watching, remember you're responsible for this book and this cartoon. And by the way, don't tell anybody, but she's very good at drawing. So just to finish up, I'm gonna put the original back up again. Just let you have a look at it for a few minutes. I'll move it up so you can see the feet now. <laughs> so get there. So until the next time, really enjoyed your company. Keep drawing, have fun, you take care. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. <laughs>